Hey guys, we have uh, another bike. Uh, this one, I'd like to go over. It's a 2011 Suzuki GSX-R 750. Um, this one was in a pretty big crash. I'm quite amazed how badly it got crashed. Some pretty big damage. Ripped the front forks. Front wheel completely ripped it off. Surprisingly, that wheel rolling it around on the ground appears straight. Um, I mean, obviously, before I sell that front wheel, I will uh, put it on a stand and make sure it's straight and true, but so this thing was pretty bad. It has a twisted up radiator, front forks ripped off, front gauge cluster and everything completely damaged. The gas tanks completely, well, I wouldn't say completely, it might be salvageable to somebody. Um, it's pretty, you know, subframe obviously is broken. The rear wheel, let's show you the carnage of the rear wheel. I mean, that is destroyed. Swing arm has damage. You know, the foot, foot pegs have damage. The clutch cover is damaged but it appears looking at the engine case is in salvageable condition frame I cannot find any bad spots on the frame so this bike was I believe this bike was in another wreck so the frame was repainted as you can see there's a paint line in there um, so they painted it red if you come over here, the stator cover, it's not factory, it's been replaced. Um, so it's been down before, but uh, really wanted to show you guys a really bad crash example this one was in such a bad crash well i mean obviously you can see it's not a rollable so that makes it really challenging to buy a bike like this from the auction you know the forklift comes in and loads it into the back of your pickup which that's not a big deal but it's when you get home if you don't have a piece of equipment like a, a hoist a forklift a tractor if you don't have a bunch of buddies that can come over and help you it's really challenging to get it out um, and I use that wood frame that I made for about 40 bucks cost me about $40 worth of wood and a couple hours worth of time and I was able to pick with motorcycle tie down straps I was able to pick this out of the back of my pickup um, so you know that worked out good so Let's go over what it costs to rebuild this. So, let's see. I paid 1100 bucks for the bike, out the door, co-parts. Um, so, Need a set of front forks, 259 bucks. You need a headlight for 50 bucks. Need an upper fairing support, $33. Radiator, $72. Gauge cluster, $160. Gas tank, $200. Subframe, $175. Both seats, $82 bucks. Rear wheel, $72. Left foot peg, $53. Gear shift pedal, $34. Swing arm, $58. A fairing kit, $400. A muffler, $71. So, 
eleven hundred for the bike, seventeen hundred nineteen bucks in parts. That puts you all in at twenty eight hundred nineteen bucks. Now that's just a rough draft. There might be some more damage here and there. Um, that's assuming the engine's in good condition. You know, if I was going to attack a build like this, I would definitely want to hear it run before I bought a bunch of parts and threw a bunch of money at it. Um, I definitely would look really close at the frame and make sure there's no damage. Um, but let's assume all those are check out good. You know, $2,800 to buy a bike like this. If you wanted a personal bike, that would be a great deal. Man, it would be a great deal. If you want to fix and flip it, well, let's talk about that. So the blue book value of this bike is about six thousand bucks. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to get blue book value for it, so it'll have a total title. And my estimate of what it's worth, and that's always debatable, what's a total title bike worth? But I'm going to put it at about five thousand bucks. You know, could you sell this for 5000 bucks? You know, if it was in looking good condition, nothing wrong with it, you know, looking good, no mechanical problems, I think it's probably worth 5000 It's a 2011, 750 So that puts a profit of $2,181. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How much time would it take? Well, you know, I'm guessing... If you had all the parts ordered and you had them all here, I'm guessing 40 hours on the long side to rebuild this bike. Really don't think it would take a ton of time. Um, so 2,000 bucks, 2,100 bucks for 40 hours worth of work. Man, I don't think that's bad. That's worth your efforts if you want to do a fix and flip. And this one's pretty wrecked. This is some of the more larger projects I've come across, you know, I'm just going to part it out. For me, you know, I actually bought this specifically for a few parts for my other build. Um, so, you know, the video hasn't been released yet, but I'll show you, give you a quick sneak peek of what I got going. Uh, this is from my last video. It's a 2007 Gixxer 750. Um, I'm going to was going to part it out, but after taking it for a test ride and riding it, I really like it, and I've really been looking for a build. So I'm going to do this one. Um, so I'm in the process of ordering parts, and I'll take you guys along the way, show you how, it, you know, start to finish what it takes. But I've already done a little bit of work to it. It still needs a little bit more. Mostly cosmetic on this one. So, all right, guys, well... If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.